much, Marcia. Today is all about strength and one of my favorite things and most neglected things, balance. We are getting strong and working on our balance. I don't believe in klutzes. You may know that by now because if you train your balance, you will keep your balance as you age and that way we won't fall down or in the unlikely event we do fall down, we will be able to catch ourselves because we will be strong enough in body, mind, and spirit. We'll need some moderate hand weights because we will be working biceps and triceps a little bit. And if you have one, a resistance band, uh, either a circle one or you can tie a circle, is optional, not required. Ready to get started. Before we do that, remember to like and subscribe and let's get busy. Let's start by warming it up. Stand wide, bring your arms up to the ceiling, circle around, plie deep. And again, one more time around, we're gonna reverse the arms right here. Get a nice deep bend in those knees. One more time around and we'll side step right here with some arm cross. Get the body warmed up. Let's punch it up overhead, overhead press right here. Keep our side step. And we're gonna alternate reaching from corner to corner right here. So step and reach. Get a nice deep bend in the knees. Get some rotation in that torso. And we're gonna march it out right here. Bring that heart rate up. Let's take it wide. And get ready to step over that gate. Open up those hips. One more each side, then we're gonna reverse. So knees gonna come up and out like so, up and out. And you're breathing. One more time. Alrighty, my friends, let's get started. You may wanna have a chair to grab onto because we are gonna be working on balance or situate yourself next to a wall so you can catch yourself if you need it. Um, I'm gonna start my timer. We're gonna work at intervals of 45 seconds on, 15 off, and we're gonna slow this down because we are balancing. That requires some attention. So we're gonna start with a front and back curtsy. So we're gonna stay all on one side, so we're gonna Curtsy back and then up and balance. Curtsy forward, up and balance. If you've got it, it's okay to touch that toe if you need to. Perfectly okay. Ideally, we're balancing here. Core is tight. Don't forget to breathe. Sometimes when we're focusing on balance, we hold our breath, totally natural. Balance, you've got it. Keep your shoulders even and keep them down and relaxed. Okay, I'm gonna switch my chair. Let's go to the other side. Kind of uneven there. So the curtsy on this side, we're gonna step it back just like we did on the right. Here we go. Curtsy up in balance and step it forward. You could, if you wanted, hold your weights here for a little resistance. Just FYI. And it's totally normal if one side feels easier than the other. Just means you need to work on that side a little more. After this, we're gonna grab our weights for some bicep curls, kind of shake things up. Let our hips rest and our quads and our glutes. Okay, grab those. We're gonna face our palms out away, so, and we're just gonna curl it up to the collarbone and release it down. Whatever you use for cur curling weight is good. Up and squeeze. Down slow, blow it out as you lift. Core is tight. 
Feet are facing forward. Knees are soft. Okay, weights go down. Let's revisit that front and back curtsy right here. So our chair is still out. In the event we need it, maybe we don't. Let's go on the, so the right is stepping, I guess I step forward that time, whichever. And back. You get the gist. Try, see if you can pause out here and balance. Picking a focal point on the wall will help you with that balance. It definitely takes some focus. And I promise you, if you're consistent with balance work, your balance will improve very quickly. So stick with it. It's really worth it because nobody wants to fall down, ever. Way too many of my friends are falling down. That's why I've made this my crusade, one of my many crusades. Okay, switch your chair, get ready to go on the other side, curtsy front and back. <clears throat> I'm going to curtsy forward first because that's what I did on the other side, so we'll keep it consistent. And back. Whoa. You know, if you want to use your arms in any which way that helps you balance, feel free. There's nothing that says you have to hold your arms still. Your arms can sort of counterweight for you. Now the dance training is coming back to me. Did you have hobbies in a previous life? Me, a billion years ago as a teenager, was a dancer figure skater. Okay, beautiful. Do we do both sides? Bicep curls are next. This time let's do a hammer curl so your weights are vertical. Pin your upper arms to your side body. Here we go, up, down slow, core is engaged. Blow it out at the top. And you know, you could be curling much heavier here, possibly. I invite you to challenge yourself. All right, weights go down. We're going to move on here. I'm going to bring my chair back because we're going to be reverse lunge to knee up and balance. And we're going to stay all on the right side to start. And then we'll switch over. So here we go. Reverse lunge, knee up and hold again. Or, you know, kickstand, whatever works for you. And the chair or wall is always there if you need it. See if you can take a breath up here at the top and balance. Feel how hard your feet are working. And your core is stabilizing you as well. Nice job. Hips are square facing the front of the room. Let's switch. Shake it out a little bit. Get ready for the other side. Here we go, reverse lunge, up in balance. You could also be holding your weights at your sides here for a little extra resistance challenge. Going nice and slow and controlled. Tell me in the comments what you might've been in a past life, meaning your youth. <laughs> 
it's interesting to see our evolutions of how we start and how we progress. The most important thing is that we keep moving in however, whatever capacity you choose. Keep moving and having fun with it. Okay, going back to the bicep curl. Grab your weights, let's face the palms out this time. Give those biceps a good workout. Here we go, curl them up and release. Up and squeeze. Exhale, stabilize with the core. You guys are doing awesome so far. I thank you for joining me. Your body thanks you for moving today. Okay, weights go down, chair comes back out. We're gonna revisit that reverse lunge with the knee up. Get ready to step it back with the right leg. Here we go. First lunge, knee up and hold, and again. Power this movement with your breath. Core is tight. Focus. Quads on that base leg are working. So are the glutes. Here we go. Switch it around. Let's get the other side one more time. Reverse lunge. Shake it out. Here we go. Step it back. Up and hold. Again. Okay, grab your weights. One more, last time with that hammer curl, so weights are vertical. And then we're gonna move on. Here we go, curl it up and release it slow. Up, blow it out. Keep that core engaged. Our body strength is important. A lot of times we, if we're running and walking, we care about our lower body strength, but God forbid if we are to fall, the upper body strength, this is what's gonna help you catch your fall and break it. After this, we're gonna grab our circle resistance band. If you've got one, if not, you can do this with no band. It's perfectly good. Okay, weights go down. The band's gonna go just above your knees. There we go. Feet are gonna face forward. Our chair is here just in case. We're gonna stay on the right. We're gonna side leg lift and then to the back corner. So the side of your shoe goes through the side of the room and then to the back corner of the room. Posture is good. We're keeping our torso and body as upright as possible. See if we can let go of that chair. Breathing. 
balancing. And you know, if you need to touch your toe down, so be it. It's all good. Let's really feel that medial hip working. And also this one for stabilizing. Foot is flexed. Toe points to the front of the room. Whoa. Oh yes. Switch my chair, let's do the other leg. Whew. Get ready on that left side. Here we go, to the side and the back corner again. Maybe holding our hands out. Whatever works, whatever helps you balance, do that. The focal point really helps me a lot. Slow and controlled. After these, we're gonna grab our weights again and do some tricep kickbacks. Whoa. Okay. I'm just going to leave my band there, grab my weights. So we're just going to bring the weights up in a row, kick them back, down and down. So up, kick back, in and down. Row it up, kick it back, bring it in and down. You got it. We're hinged forward, flat back. Your gaze can be at the floor out in front of you. Neutral neck position. Oh yes, knees are soft. Okay, weights go down. to our side leg raises, back to the right foot working, chair is here, just in case, here we go, to the side and the back corner, again, use the core to engage, core is really controlling everything right now. And use your breath. And if the band is too much for you, feel free to take it off. These are perfectly good and very beneficial with no resistance as well. Switch sides, shake it out a little bit. Ready for that left leg. Make that left medial hip do some work. Here we go. Side and back corner. Load out as you extend. Try not to let your upper body pitch forward or sideways. Stay as erect as you can. Woo, I am feeling these, how about you? There we go, thank goodness. We are done with this band, so you can take it off. We're gonna do some tricep extensions. This time we're gonna go overhead with our weight, and you could go heavier here because we're only holding one. Hinge it back, let it touch your back. Press it up to the ceiling.
All right, moving on. We're gonna do a single leg squat, but don't get scared. It's a teeny tiny baby squat. So what we're gonna do is just bring your knee up just so your shoe is just below the knee and we're just doing this. It's a tiny little balance. Those quads are just moving up and back, up and down. And you're keeping your balance here. And if you need to grab your chair or tap your toe down, it's all good. If you want to challenge yourself, you could add some hand weights here or here. So many things we can do to add variations and add challenges. Be sure to breathe. Keep that core engaged. Slow, whoa, slow and controlled. Okay, shake that baby out. Let's do the other side. Whew, so your right foot is, your right leg is your base leg. We're gonna bring the left up. Teeny tiny baby squat balance right here. I don't care how large or small this movement might be. Just make sure your knee, your base working knee is tracking forward. It's not collapsing in and it's not bowing out because that would indicate some weaknesses and imbalances that you would work on. Your body tells you, it gives you messages. It's up to you to listen. So be mindful and aware of your form. You know, my, my thigh is parallel to the floor if you wanted to bring it in a little different way. That's okay too. Just experiment a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna do a side lunge. So what we're gonna do is side lunge, flat back, booty is sit it out. So the weight is in your heel here. And we're gonna bring it up and balance. So side lunge, up and hold. Up and hold. And if you need to grab the wall or chair, it's there for you. Push it up strong, hold. You could hold a weight here if you wanted. Just saying. Whoa. Up and hold. Core is tight. And if you wanted to just kickstand here, that's great too. Okay, shake it out. March a little bit and get ready to go the other way. Woo. Here we go. Lunge it out. Up and hold. You're breathing. Those shoulders away from your ears. Do you hear the wind howling? I don't know if you hear it, but it is howling here today. Whoa. Okay, shake it out. We're going to go back to our single leg. Tiny baby squats. <clears throat> Get ready for it, here we go. Bottom knee is tracking straight ahead. Whoa. Squeeze that glute as you come up, make it work. Core is engaged. Shoulders are relaxed. Use your breath. Hold on to your chair or wall as needed. All right. 
right. Whew. Those are getting real quickly. One more time, the other side. Change it up. Whew. Get ready. Here we go. Down and up. Your upper body is not pitching forward. You're keeping it straight up and down as though there were a string coming out of the top of your head and attaching to the ceiling. So just pulling you down and up. Don't forget to breathe. All right, our side lunges are next. Ooh. Shake it out. I'm gonna go this way first. Here we go. Side lunge, up and hold, and again. Get a good yet gentle stretch in that groin right here. And balance. Have you ever fallen down outside while walking, running? I did on a trail once. I caught my toe on a root and did a total belly flop. I guess you'd call it face plant, although I did not plant my face. Change sides. Thankfully, I just kind of, it was in the last mile of my run. So all I could do is just sort of trot it, limp it home, swearing. <laughs> and ever since then, I've been so mindful of balance and working the body in a balanced way so that there are no lazy body parts that make other parts compensate. Because that's how you get injured. And that's how you get unbalanced and that's how you fall. So we wanna stay strong and balanced. That's my whole goal right here as I age. We are almost there, friends. You've been absolutely great. There we go, we are all set. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you found that so, so helpful. Definitely work on balance at least once a week. You will be amazed at the quick progress you make. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.